Hey everybody, this is uh, Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. How are you guys doing today? Uh, glad you can join me. Today we're going to take a deep dive into the Beast Tank Power Play. Yeah, this is the big play that has served me well since 1994. Yeah, that's a long, long time ago. I can't even count how many touchdowns and first downs uh, that this play has uh, done for my teams, and uh, it's just been an amazing play and formation uh, that uh, subscribe to the channel if you get a chance, like the video at the end if you can, and also uh, shop my playbooks over at coachparker.org uh, to help support the channel. So let's get right into it. This is a deep dive into the Beast Left Tank play, and here it is right here. Uh, this goes in conjunction with another video that I did on play adjustments out of the uh, Beast Left Tank. Let's take a look at the Beast Left Tank. It can define an offense and really has defined me as a coach in a way that when I get in trouble and I need something to happen, this kind of is the play that I'm going to lean on. If you've got another offense and you're just wanting to try test it out, this is the play to kind of test out, and I'm going to show you why. So the Beast Left Tank, uh, you can go under center or uh, in shotgun. And this particular blocking scheme, 90% of the times, works out for what we're trying to do. And basically, it's a severe anger lot block on the front side, <clears throat> hinge and block down on the back side. I call that, when I do that, that's just my term, I call it jaw. So here is that jaw blocking kind of thing and what the backs are going to do. And this is what it's going to look like on the front side. So there's a little animation here. So there it is right there. You can see it. It sets up this wall right here. Uh, and then the running back hits through that, uh, that, that uh, trap, kind of two traps on the inside backer and on this corner here in the kick out on the DN. So let's play that again real quick, and you can see it happen. There it is, and you can see the wall set up. I didn't animate the backside there. So that's what we're looking for on that play. And if the defense hasn't adjusted, uh, basically that walls off pretty much all but maybe three players on the defense uh, that will maybe be sitting here, probably two, and then a free safety here. And so the back really is just going to have to beat the free safety if we get the blocking done on that right. So let's jump jump into it in the deep dive here. So on the beast left tank, what we've seen, what I've seen over the last 10 years is if a defense stops, starts stopping your tank play, and the reason it's called tank is because we're running at the two big tackles, T for tackles tank, and that's what's going on there. Uh, we're trying to run either between them or just a little bit off the outside guy's butt. Uh, depending on how the defense is stacked there. And it's kind of like a zone thing here. It's it's really like uh, a 15-17 or a 16-18 play. The hole is going to be kind of, you got to kind of read it where it's going to happen. And that one box is kind of where that's going to occur. And that's where we want to go on the tank play, the power tank play. We want to go right there because we're going to try to wall off the majority of, of defenses there. Now, there's other areas that's going to come up that you're going to see, and I've put these in, uh, put numbers on them that you as a coach want to look for and also tell your beast back. Now, I've had a seven-year-old be able to read this and do well at it, and definitely nine and up can do this you're, if your beast backs are smart. You can tell them to pre-read the defense and kind of where they're going to go, and if you trust them enough, you can let them loose, and you, it's incredible what they're able to actually accomplish when they see these lanes and how the defense is stacking the particular lanes. So you, you can see that usually – when, when you get a, just a normal defense that hasn't shifted, uh, usually the one lane there is really going to be set up. And, of course, you can flip this for right and left uh, when the formation flips. But that's where, that's where we want to go. 
And it sets up great where you're basically going to wall off about eight guys and three guys you have to block over to the play side uh, outside of the hole. Yeah, so here's here's why. This is, I think, a six. I got a 6-2 defense kind of set up where they haven't shifted. And you can see here's what we're trying to hit. And you can see if this blocks, you saw the animation a while ago, the offensive line will have this this wall here. Three and two are going to kick out there. If the safety comes up over the top, you know, he's, he's got to beat that one back hitting that, uh, that particular lane. You're gone. And it's even for a five, three. I mean, that lane, cause you want to hit that and get to the sideline ladder and go. We really don't want to turn back in to any of that defense. We want to hit that angle to the sideline and we're off and wall off that rest of the defense on that back side of that hole. And that happens so much. It's it's crazy how many times your back can pop out of there. So that's the first hole we want to go to. And you can see in, in two, three, and four, and five right now, those are just taken up. The things in yellow are actually pass openings that we know where those are usually going to occur there. So T is for tank. That's where we're trying to go. You call that one play, and then now you have all these different areas that you could look for that your back can pre-read and make that decision. You can pre-read and make an audible and call that in and do a check, and that's what we're going through now is all these possibility audibles that either your back can make a decision on yourself or you could call from the sideline either through hand signals or uh, crazy nickname words that you can make up, and I've got mine in here. So we've called, let's just say we've called, you know, this this uh, Beast Left Tank play. So we get in here, and this is what we see. They're still in this 6-2, which is what you're going to get a lot of, is eight, ten men in the box. They're going to all drop down. Is they've stacked, you can see here over the power tackle in the end, they st they'll stack five, four or five guys, sometimes six guys right there, because they know that's where we're going to go. Uh, I've been coaching this particular, in this particular league for like 10 years now. So they all got film on me. So they know that. And so what your beast back can look up there. He's called, we, you know, they've called this beast left tank. He's pre-reading this thing and you see that bubble at two right now. It's wide open. So we don't even adjust, you know, the blocking call on this. We're just blocking down hard and he gets in there and he goes. It's crazy. How you can pop out of that. Usually the slow tackle may get stalled anyway by the guard or something will happen. It'll create a, a weird crease for them anyway and they're off. They're off to the races. So you're really hoping for some laziness by the by the uh, defenders because they're youth football players or the coach hasn't done something. But on this one they've overstacked and we're hoping for that and then your back can look at it and boom and you can check out of it uh, at the at the uh, from the sideline to help him out there so that's where we're going there so the next play we've called beast left tank uh, and see what they've done here is they uh, you know they're basically what you're gonna see on this is usually they're gonna submarine you a lot uh, on this and when we call in uh, so long is our sweep nickname and so the two three and four back instead of doing what they normally do they're just going to run around that tight end and go after the dn and cornerback and then the beast back is going to flow around on a stretch or a little bit wider sweep and we're going to hit that lane so we really you know they're going to submarine in here and, and blitz that that tank hole and grenade hole because we've been killing them there and so they're just not going to give us that if you're back smart enough he's going to dip his shoulder like he's going to hit a tank and then he's going to swing out two and three you can swing around pick up those other two guys and you're off to the races so we've called the beast left tank the back sees it or i see it i can check out check 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 so long you can make up whatever word you like so begins with sweep uh, I've got a hand signal for it, so we're off to the races there. That is that play. Next time we come out and uh, they have overshifted, I will sometimes play this particular off this defense where it's a four box on the back side, and I got like seven guys. I'm going to stack up. I am not letting anybody run play side. Let's say they've kind of, you know these four guys right here have messed up for some reason and. Uh, 
which they have, which happens all the time. So there's three or four plays in here. The main one is what I call Goofy. Goofy is backside guard, or Tricky is backside tackle, and the beast back just reads that and hits it. And that will be there. Three and four are almost tied on if where where that happens. Um, because you, this backside, you're going to get a big gap a lot of times, either at the tackle or goofy guard. And you can hit that because the DN may swing around to, to box out and then you've got it. And then basically you got to beat that corner there that's sitting there by that number two in yellow. So that's what you got there. If you want to go further, you can. If you want to get more backs involved, you can run a corky, which is a four back gut counter, or you could try to run a counter trap if you want to get more guys involved in that. But if you just want to keep it simple with one back, being able to basically audible from like five plays or six out of this one formation, uh, you can do that. And he should, he can, if you got a smart enough back and our junior and senior backs that are used to running this for a couple of years can do this all on their own. And it's crazy what it looks like when it all, when it all occurs. Uh, so you're going to hit this, uh, four lane here. Uh, we wanted to go here, but we audibled over here. So here's number five, where you can see basically they've all shifted over. The cornerbacks even shifted a little bit. They, you know, they don't think we're going to run anything going on on here. Uh, and this is where he can boot out, which is called Baton uh, or and Silly and Zany, which is the backside sweep. So he can boot out there and go there. There's also a Ricky Ricardo number two reverse where he runs the tank and hands off to number two, three and four back door block. Uh, there's also another play out of that called Crazy Heifer where two, three and four, where two will kick out, three and four will block back door and Tex will come around on a tight end counter. So you've got all that, but, but that's, but, you know, what you've got to be able to see is when you get up here, we want to go to the tank play. That's pretty much this base play that we're going to run out of these formations. And you get up and you're going to see these defenses and how they overstack. And then you can audible into this lane or to these pass plays. Uh, and so you can see all the audibles that we've got. I've got them here and we kind of went all over them, but grenades, so long, goofy, tricky. So you've got this one play that you've got in. And the back, if he's not calling pass plays or these reverses involve the other, the other, uh, team members, he's got five or six audibles right from the bat that he can audible into and find his lane and not involve or try to even call another blocking call and just run those. And usually they work out really well the majority of time. This is what's so good about this one play, and if your beast back is smart enough to handle all that, uh, you can you can pull that off, or you can audible for him from the sideline with hand signals or uh, funny words, which will help the line and everybody else kind of may, maybe make some uh, line adjustments there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give me two thumbs up and the like down there. Please comment if you've worn these and they've been, they've going well for you, or maybe they haven't and just comment. And maybe I can help you get them to run better. Definitely subscribe, share the video with your other coaches. That'd be awesome. Shop over at my Amazon store that I get a little bit from that. That helps me out to keep it going. And definitely, if you like what you saw and you want to try one of my playbooks, it helps support me make bring more free video content to you is head over to coachparker.org and buy some of my playbooks. I've got uh, about six or seven over there now. And of course, Power Wing Beast Offense uh, is my main one there for offense. So uh, check it out if you get a chance. Again, this is Coach Parker with coachparker.org. Thanks for stopping by. Remember to play for fun and winning is funner. Ciao.